Hey everyone, it's your favorite pick instant back again with another exciting video for you all. In this one, I'm going to be giving you my top 5 best bridge camera that are currently available on the market. These products have either helped me a lot in my business or just appeal to me personally. So without further ado, let's get started. Please check out the description below and all of our products that we've included with their respective buy links. At number 5. Sony. The Sony RX10 IV is the Rolls Royce of bridge cameras. Though it comes with a premium price tag, it's the most capable bridge camera we've tested, with a 20 megapixel 1 inch sensor and a built in Zeiss zoom lens that covers a fairly wide zoom range of 24 to 600 millimeters, full frame equivalent. It's weather sealed and feels super well constructed, with a generous hand grip and premium touches like a top display to quickly check your settings, battery life, and storage space at a glance. Beyond its high end exterior, it's also incredibly versatile. It can shoot at a blazing fast 24 frames per second burst rate and has a great autofocus system. And while you won't get the same level of image quality that you would with a larger sensor interchangeable lens camera, it can still capture great photos straight out of the camera and includes raw shooting and manual control for more advanced photographers. The dense feature set, build quality, and excellent sensor make this a great all-in-one camera as long as you can stomach the premium price tag. At number 4. Lumix. If you're looking for something more affordable but still capable, the Panasonic Lumix FC1002 is an excellent bridge camera and one of the best all-around choices for most people, especially if you don't need weather sealing or a 24 frames per second burst rate. Like the Sony RX10 IV, it uses a larger 1-inch sensor than most bridge cameras, but it has a shorter max focal length of 400mm, so you don't get quite as much zoom range, but it's still quite good for capturing far-off subjects. Unfortunately, it uses slower contrast detection technology for its autofocus system. It still performs okay but isn't quite as effective as the AF on the Sony. Thankfully, though, the camera comes with a ton of extra features, including focus stacking and post-focus, which takes multiple shots to either combine multiple focus points into a wider focal plane or let you choose a different focus point after the fact. It's helpful touches like that that give this camera a lot of value for its price. At number 3. Dot Lumix. If you're on a tighter budget, the Panasonic Lumix FZ80 is one of the best value bridge cameras you can get. Naturally, build quality isn't as up there as pricier models like the ones mentioned above, but this camera still has a lot to offer. It uses a smaller sensor, so image quality isn't amazing, but it does have more focal reach, with a 1200mm max full frame equivalent focal length allowing you to zoom in on birds or other subjects that might be farther away. The camera also has a simple, easy-to-use menu system and plenty of extra features, including a 4K photo mode like the Panasonic Lumix FC1002 and creative shooting modes for night photography or macro shots. And while it isn't the highest resolution, the camera has a viewfinder, which you don't always get with budget options. Plus, a 10 frames per second burst rate and a decent battery life make this a well-rounded budget camera for birding or casual family photos. At number 2. Dot Nikon While all of our picks have pretty long zoom lenses, the Nikon Coolpix P1000 is the bridge camera to buy if you're looking for sheer zoom range. Its built-in lens has a remarkable 125x zoom, allowing you to zoom in to a max equivalent focal length of 3000 mm blowing all other bridge cams out of the water. It's so long that it can capture details on the surface of the moon, though it's also suitable for landscapes or everyday photos at shorter focal lengths. The trade-off of having such a long zoom lens is that the camera is very heavy and bulky, so it's not very portable or well-suited to travel. While it has an electronic stabilization feature, you'll still need to use a tripod when shooting at its longest focal lengths, and even with a tripod, it's still hard to eliminate camera shake. The small sensor also means that image quality won't be as out of this world as the things you can capture with the camera, but it's well built, and you won't find this kind of zoom capability in a convenient all-in-one package anywhere else. At number 1. Canon Though bridge cameras aren't known for their portability, you might still want an all-in-one camera with the comfortable ergonomics of a DSLR without necessarily giving yourself neck strain. If you prefer something on the more portable side, 
the Canon PowerShot SX70HS is the way to go. It isn't the most compact bridge camera on the market, however, it's relatively small and lightweight and feels very comfortable to shoot with, thanks to its intuitive menu system and simple ergonomic control scheme. Unlike some bridge cameras, you still get a viewfinder here, which is great for sunny days or to help with composition. Its built-in lens also has a very long 21 to 1,365 mm equivalent focal length, so you can easily zoom in on very far away subjects or take wide-angle landscape shots. That said, it uses a smaller sensor than the slightly pricier Panasonic Lumix FC1002, so image quality is somewhat worse. Still, if you want something a tad smaller, this is a solid bridge camera for the price. We hope you loved the video and please tell us which products we should review next in our comment section. Thank you for spending time on our video. Please remember that there are links in the description of all products shown today.